There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. That does sound odd. I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Having a good day? I'm tracking someone. A Grey Warden who might be in the area. Ah, you must mean Blackwall. Good man. Had to save when the demons attacked. When the breach opened. The breach? <laughs> All I know is things got bad when it opened. The warden helped stop the demons while we got away. Without him, we would have. We took what we could from the farms, then the bandits came and stole all that. Made Blackwall mad as blazes, like it was the last straw or something. He conscripted the other farmers and headed after them, down the road there. I haven't seen them since. Know anything about the bandits? They were just a nuisance, threatening people along the paths for tolls and such. But well, this time, they robbed us blind. Yes, the hole in the sky or Black Bull fighting demons spooked them. Made them want to stock up and run. Not sure why. Can't exactly run from the sky. Blackwall fought off demons for you? He saved us. Stood, shield out, cutting them down as they came. Like nothing we'd ever seen. Said it was his duty, fighting things like that. Didn't ask for pay or nothing. Even though wardens can take what they want. Might make some people nervous, but I say they deserve it. Especially after I saw him work. Your friends were conscripted? Did Blackwall force them to go after the bandits? We well, could have. Wardens have that right, don't they? Seems like fair trade for saving everyone during blights. Anyway, he didn't force, he rallied. Said blights and demons are his job, but we'd have to learn to fight thieves like that ourselves. Oh, boys didn't argue. <laughs> he really fired them up. But not you. I'm old. And someone had to stay back. I have to track him down. Any idea where Blackwall is now? Can't say. They left down the road there, following the bandits. You find him, say thanks again for me. If I were younger, I'd have followed, no question. Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall? Warden Blackwall? You're not. How do you know my name? Who said- <laughs> ah! That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. Conscripts, here they come! Sorry, bastards. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have... Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. You're no farmer. Why do you know my name? Who are you? I know your name because I'm an agent of the Inquisition. I'm investigating whether the disappearance of Wardens has anything to do with the murder of the Divine. Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't... No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done. Wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you. No Warden killed the Divine. 
Our purpose isn't political. What's the Warden purpose got to do with throwing farmers at bandits? This was different. I was in the area recruiting, fought some demons, then I heard about the stealing. Treaties give Wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots forced this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire, make you better than you think you are. I wasn't aware Grey Wardens could take whatever they want. It's complicated. If there's a blight, everyone has to help the effort to fight it. The treaties are ancient. Outside of blights, it's as binding as a clever tongue can make it. Do you have any idea where the other Wardens could have gone? Maybe they returned to our stronghold at Weishaupt? That's in the Anderfels, a long way north. I don't really know. Can't imagine why they'd all disappear at once, let alone where they disappear to. Why haven't you gone missing like the rest of them? Well, maybe I was going to. Or maybe there's a new directive, but a runner got lost or something. My job was to recruit on my own. Plan to stay that way for months. Years. Well, thank you, Warden Blackwall. But now where does this leave us? Inquisition. Agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a Warden. Maybe you need me. The Inquisition needs all the support it can get. But what can one Grey Warden do? Save the fucking world if pressed. Look, maybe fighting demons from the sky isn't something I'm practiced at. But show me someone who is. And like I said, there are treaties. Maybe this isn't a blight, but it's bloody well a disaster. Some will honor them. Being a warden means something to a lot of people. Warden Blackwall, the Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. And perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. This Warden walks with the Inquisition. Make her look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it. To be that close. If I hadn't been saved by the Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. The Breach, the Divine's death, the Wardens. It doesn't make sense. There's so much we don't know. Already feeling like part of the team, I see. Too soon? I thought we were building a rapport. So, you already know something of me. What about you? How do you fit into all this? It's been a whirlwind. It's hard to say where I fit. I guess we'll have to figure that out. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. I've heard rumors of abandoned Warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look. See if there's anything we can salvage. You're oddly charming for a man I found wandering the forest. I always thought myself more odd than charming. But I'll take a compliment from a lady. They're hard to come by these days. Compliments or ladies? <laughs> Both. So, is there something large and heavy you need moved? That would be a waste of your particular talents. Oh, really? You're much better suited to standing in front of dragons while they try to eat you. I have to say, my lady, you're unlike any woman I've ever met. I'm flattered you'd spend any time with me. I enjoy your company. I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. Your name, Blackwall, doesn't sound Orlesian. Marcher, then. Ferelden. I was from the Free Marchers originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. 
another life. I hear that many wardens were once criminals. You're right. When you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that way. What did you do before you became a warden? I was... a soldier. A, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a warden? More or less. Becoming a Grey Warden... was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Why did you join the Wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. I've been meaning to thank you. There are a hundred things that need your attention. You didn't have to take the time to help me. And yet you did. Don't mention it. We happen to be in the area. And here I thought we were having a special bonding moment. But I've seen the things you've accomplished. And my admiration is not diminished. I would never have guessed that you admire me. Of course I do. You have the world at your feet. Myself included. So you take your cue from everyone else? What if they despised me? If that were to happen, I would reject the world for lacking in good taste. And perhaps we could continue as we are. Us against them. Now, we should return to our duties before I get too carried away. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. I found something that had to do with wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. What do you think of the Inquisition? I expected more. More men. Better equipment. You may have Andraste's favor, but wars are won by men. Soldiers. Brute force is not always the answer. There are plenty of other paths to victory. <laughs> True enough. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. One thing I will say about your men. They're passionate. Devoted. You inspire them. Build on that foundation. And you will have an army that makes nations tremble. You must have some feelings about our friends. Sarah doesn't know who she is or what she wants. And doesn't even care. What do you think of Haven? It's a war camp that was once a pilgrim's refuge. It's the state of the world though, isn't it? Holy ground turned into a battlefield. Pity about that temple. Would have been nice to see it. What do you think about all this trouble between the mages and Templars? Looking at it from where we stand, it seems inevitable. But that could be hindsight. How many of us actually saw it coming? Either way, I don't think the Chantry will ever recover. What do you think of my advisors? Leliana seems... nice. Also a little frightening, but mostly nice. You're not saying that for my benefit, are you? Are you so certain you're being watched? Are you so certain we aren't? I don't want to wake up with a blade in my kidneys if I can help it. What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. I don't know where you stand on the matter, and I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. So, this is Skyhold. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. On the other hand, that means he can see us from miles away. 
let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. I'm not losing anyone to Corypheus, especially not you. You can't afford to think I'm special. I'm a soldier no different than any soldier lost at Haven. I am fond of you, it's true, but we can't let this go any further. This, whatever you want this to be, is impossible. Why is it impossible? I know you have feelings for me. My lady, don't. You're the Inquisitor, the Herald of Andraste. Even now, there are people flocking to your banner ready to serve, to die. We must remain focused on the task at hand. I'm not what they say I am. I never asked them to believe. But they do, and it's too late to go back. Whoever you were is gone. They believe you're the Herald because they need to. Without that hope, all that's left is despair. We're both bound by duty. Our lives aren't ours to live. Don't make this harder than it has to be. This... this is just... It's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. I hope there's more than just the work keeping you here. Well, there's you, of course. The Inquisition is nothing without its herald. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. There's wisdom in that. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. What is this Grand Tourney? You've never heard of it. The Grand Tourney of the Free Marches. It's a spectacle. Song, dance, wine, every amusement you can imagine. <laughs> but the greatest part is the contest of arms. Prove yourself in the Grand Tourney, and you can make your fortune. How did he help you? There were a hundred men on the field, each one fighting for himself. The Knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The goal? Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. That was generous of him. He said I stood to gain everything, while well, he'd lose nothing. When it was over, he offered to mentor me, to teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. My life would have been very different if I'd followed him. I regret that. But now I believe I made the right decision after all. If your life had been different, we wouldn't have met. Nothing escapes your notice. Our paths may never have crossed if I'd gone with the old Chevalier. I could never regret this life. Not with you in it. I hope you can forgive me for pushing you away. I'm sure you had your reasons. But I can't just ask you to trust my reasons blindly. I... owe you an explanation for what I did. But not here. This is all sounding very suspicious. Don't make up your mind until we get there. It's so quiet now. I remember when it wasn't. I came here with another warden. We were ambushed. I tried to save him, but he died. That must have been hard on you. His death was different. It changed me. Let's go over there. The Warden Constable's badge. 
You must have lost it in the battle. How careless. How careless indeed. After all, I did earn it. I shouldn't have let it go so easily. This was my life before I met you. Crumbling ruins. Endless battles. Death. You don't have to face those things alone. <laughs> nothing frightens you, does it? There's nothing more for me here. But we can talk back at Skyhold and I... I have to think. I knew you couldn't stay away. Ah, uh, no, I couldn't. If only you knew how confounding you are. How impossibly infuriating. I wanted to thank you for accompanying me to that ruin. I wanted to... I just had to see you. No. This is wrong. I shouldn't even be here. It doesn't feel wrong. I want to give in. Make her knows how much I wish I could. I'm not what you want. I could never be what you deserve. Is it because you're a warden? You've got this obligation to fulfill? All I am, all I have, I gave to the wardens. There's nothing I can offer you. You'd have no life with me. But I... I need you to end this. Because I can't. I'm not letting you go. We'll regret this, my lady. Do you regret that? Varric's friend Hawk said there were suspicions of corruption in Grey Warden ranks. Do you know anything about that? Corruption? What sort of corruption? Corypheus. He's been known to influence the minds of Wardens. That could very well explain why so many have disappeared. Are you feeling all right? No voices or anything? If I start hearing things, I promise you'll be the first to know. We need to discuss our relationship. As you wish. Anything. Just give the word. Make sure you save at least one dance for me. All of them. There are at least a dozen young lords and ladies hoping for some time with the hero of the night. Yet, here you are. Alone. Care to share your thoughts? I'm just tired. This was a long night. You work too hard. I can see you're wanting to get away from it all. Before we leave, may I have this dance, Lady Trevelyan? I'd like that. I didn't know you danced. I did once, in another life. What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? You seem quite fond of our warden, Blackwall. I think it's charming. Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the abyss. 
The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. None of the Wardens we saw wavered. They gave their lives willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. We stopped him. We saved most of the Wardens. But not all of them. And they died thinking they were doing something good. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. They should have had your resolve, Blackwall. You've never faltered. You never will. Before the Inquisition, before you, I had the Wardens. The vow I made to them. Before that vow, I had nothing. Was nothing. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... Joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. Want to drink? I've a hankering for company. You seem troubled. What's on your mind? It's nothing. You know I'm here for you. I was thinking about when we went to the ruin. When we found the badge. Everything seemed clear then. Like I could do anything with you at my side. Anything. That's a hard word, you know. It means a lot. You mean a lot. Let's get out of here. You need to know that I'm not worthy of you. There's no future for us with me as a warden. You don't know tomorrow any better than I do. One moment at a time. Then for now, let there be nothing else. No one else. Just you and me. Blackwall? The Spy Master has confirmed it. Blackwall is gone. When we were together, he seemed troubled. I should have seen this coming. Here. I have something that may help. Sister Leliana had us search the Warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start.
Cyril Mornay, for your crimes against the Empire of Orlais. For the murders of General Vincent Callier, Lady Lorette Callier, their four children, and their retainers, you are sentenced to be hanged from the neck until dead. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Very well. Well, this is grim. Proceed. Stop! A Grey Warden. This man is innocent of the crimes laid before him. Orders were given, and he followed them like any good soldier. He should not die for that mistake. Then find me the man who gave the order. Oh, shit. Blackwall! No, I am not Blackwall. I never was Blackwall. Warden Blackwall is dead. And has been for years. I assumed his name to hide like a coward from who I really am. You, after all this time. It's over. I'm done hiding. I gave the order. The crime is mine. I am Tom Rainier. Can you believe it? Tom Rainier himself. You must know something about Rene. I know what everyone knows. He'll hang for the massacre of a noble and his family. Where did they take the prisoner? In the jail of the marketplace. If you've goodbyes to say, say them now. It's a damned mess, but believe you me, it'll be sorted out quick. Lots of people can't wait to see that man swing. Guess not. I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. He wanted me for the Wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man, the man he was, wouldn't have let another die in his place. Why did you lie to me? I never meant to lie to you. And when I did, I couldn't take it back. You weren't supposed to find me. You were just supposed to think I was gone. I didn't want you to see me like this. You wanted me to think you left me. That you were dead or worse. You'd break my heart and call it better. Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier. His entourage. And I lied to my men about what they were doing. When it came to light, I ran. Those men, my men, paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. This is what I am. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. Wouldn't you be happier thinking I was a nobleman, a Grey Warden? Instead of this, I would have saved you the pain of learning that all you knew about me was a lie. That you loved a lie. There was truth to what we had, and there is good in you. I have to believe that. I didn't think we had anything more to talk about. I need to know the details of what you did. Who you killed, why. I betrayed the Empire and assassinated a general, Ulf Gold. The man was General Vincent Callier. My employer was a chevalier, Robert Chapuis. 
Sir Robert believed that Grand Duke Gaspard was the rightful ruler of Orlais and would eventually take the throne. He thought that by eliminating one of Selene's loyal supporters, he might endear himself to the true Emperor. I can't say if Robert's plan would have worked. I didn't care. There was good coin offered, and I took it. By the time Sir Robert's involvement was uncovered, I was long gone. Of course, the Grand Duke disavowed any knowledge of the act and publicly condemned it. Robert killed himself. Poison in his wine. Another victim of the great game. You got your men to help you. What did you tell them? They didn't know who they were attacking. I told them it was an important mission. They trusted me without question. Just as your men trust you. Armies are weapons. Weapons don't wield themselves. Weapons don't have lives, families, dreams. An army is not just a weapon. My reports say that Callier was with his family. You had them all slaughtered. I didn't know Callier would be traveling with his family. I assumed only soldiers, armed guards. My men have been told to eliminate everyone. They'd seen war. They thought they were defending their country. No one likes to think about that. But it's names that carry power in this world. Bloodlines. Heirs. No matter how leaders like Selene or Gaspard pretend the game is played, that's how real war is waged. That shouldn't be how wars are fought. There's no need. War is unfair. And the sky is blue. But you're right. There was no need for what I did. There's another thing I'm still wondering. Yes? I need to know about Black Ball. The real Black Ball. We met in a tavern when I was on the run. I was nothing. A waste of life. But he wanted to recruit me. We headed to Valshavan for the joining. But Blackwall insisted on making a stop along the way. An old ruin from one of the previous blights. He said it led to the deep roads. I was to go down alone, find a darkspawn, and fill a vial with its blood. When I returned, I found the warden ambushed by more of the creatures. He took a blow for me. He shouldn't have died. It should have been me. We went there, where you were ambushed. We retrieved your badge. It was never really yours, was it? No. It belonged to him. I was going to tell you the truth. When we went there, I wanted to explain why I couldn't be with you. But you found Blackhorse badge and I... I lost my nerve. You wanted me to be him. I wanted to be him. To even imagine that I could replace that man. It was a heroic act, stepping between you and a darkspawn. I wasn't worthy. He... He would have wanted me to carry on to Valshavan, I'm certain. But without Blackwall, there's no proof that I've been recruited. That I didn't kill him. I couldn't go to the Wardens. But I couldn't just walk away. So... Rainier died. And Blackwall lived. Who were you before this mess? I was a captain in the Orlesian army. Well regarded, respected. But it wasn't enough. One mistake. One mistake and everything I worked for fell apart. The man on the gallows, Mornay. Who was he? My second in command. He was a good man. When I heard he'd been caught, I was resolved to stop his execution. Couldn't let another die for my mistake. That's all for now. I have Liliana's report on Tom Rainier. Give me the overview. Looks like our friend was once a respected captain in the Imperial Orlesian army. Before the Civil War, he was turned, persuaded to assassinate one of Selene's biggest supporters. He led a group of fiercely loyal men on this mission and told them nothing of it. His men took the fall for him. 
A few lucky ones, like Monet, managed to escape. I'm sorry. I know what he meant to you. This is helpful, or at least educational. Don't blame yourself. We all made this mistake. <sighs> what do we do now? Black War... Renier has accepted his fate. But you don't have to. We have resources. If he's released to us, you may pass judgment on him yourself. If it were up to you, what would happen? What he did to the men under his command was unacceptable. He betrayed their trust, betrayed ours. I despise him for it. And yet he fought as a warden, joined the Inquisition, gave his blood for our cause. And the moment he shakes off his past, he turns around and owns up to it. Why? He did it for me. Then only you can decide if he succeeded. Have Renee released to us. We must move quickly. We can explore our options back at Skyhold. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, you are aware of his crimes. The decision of what to do with him is yours. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. Using your ties to the Underworld to free me. You're a criminal, same as me. The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. I wish there'd been another way, but my options were limited. You could have left me there. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? You have your freedom. It cannot be as simple as that. It isn't. You're free to atone as the man you are, not the traitor you thought you were or the warden you pretended to be. It will take time. You would accept that? And what I used to be? I lied about who I was, but I never lied about what I felt. No matter what I was or what becomes of me, right now, I'm just a man with his heart laid bare. I leave it in your hands. You were ready to die. But I wasn't ready to let you go. Your place is here with me. I don't know how to be with you as Tom Rainier. We'll figure it out. Together. How shall I refer to you? Rainier or Blackwall? I've gotten used to Blackwall. Perhaps we could treat it as less of a name and more of a title. Almost like Inquisitor. Reminds me of what I ought to be. Everyone needs something to aspire to. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. We need to discuss our relationship. Is something the matter? What do you think will happen to us after all this? A house? A dog? 
Do you think that mark of yours could be used for cooking eggs? Or we could just continue as we are. No eggs necessary. As long as you're by my side, I don't care what happens. So it's done? Just about. The little ones in the camps don't have much. I thought this might cheer them up. Even in the midst of war, they deserve to be children. It's almost time. Are you ready? No. Not at all. I already lost you once. Now I might lose you again. Maybe a drink is in order. Yes. We'll approach Corypheus in a stupor. Won't feel a thing when death hits us. As much as I like the idea, I might have to decline. One thing's certain. I'll fight harder than any man out there. I'll fight harder than I ever have. There's always something to die for. But something worth living for. That doesn't come every day. Inquisitor, are you alive? Victorious, I see. What a novel result. And you live. I can breathe again. And it seems the breach is finally closed. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold. Ceremony? Can't top seeing that bastard Corypheus burn. No matter what happens to me now, I can say I was there. I helped you bring him down. It took all of us, but we did it. I shudder to think where we'd be without you leading us. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? It'll be a huge undertaking. If anyone can do it, you can. And I'll be right by your side. My Lady Inquisitor, leaving your own celebration so soon. We've been through a lot, haven't we? The destination was worth the journey. I'll never tire of how you see the best in everything, 
and every one. But what have I done to deserve this smile? And there she is. I missed you. Shut up and get over here. I have to say, while I appreciated the letters, this is much better. And after the betrayal, and what I put those men through, my sorries were worth about as much as shit. How many people hit you? I lost count at 12, but I could take a punch. They needed to know that there's a way to come back from anything. And I wanted to help them if I could. I thought going up there on the gallows was difficult. This was worse. A hundred times worse. Anyway, it's nice to be back. Though I'm not sure what to think of this council. Is it selfish of me to hope that you'll no longer need to be Inquisitor? No. I want the same. I'll wait. For as long as it takes. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Need me for anything? You're more comfortable being called by your real name now? Comfortable? Not quite yet. I didn't want to be Rainier for such a long time. To be quite frank, he was an ass. But he's... I've changed. And reclaiming my name has allowed me to reconnect with people I haven't seen in years. Family. It wouldn't have happened without you. It's nice to have everyone back in the same place again. <laughs> I have to admit I missed it. What does it mean when we need a huge diplomatic talk or the world ending just to bring us together? I got the chance to have a few drinks with Sarah. Miss that girl. It's still a little awkward talking to Cassandra. But the commander appears to have forgiven me, finally. Until later. At your pleasure, my lady. What do you think's going to happen at the Exalted Council? Maker, I have no idea. Politics always makes my head spin. The Inquisition shouldn't have to give in whenever some prissy noble gets their knickers wedged somewhere. Until then. Rainier, Rainier, Rainier. It still hurts, but you helped make it better. He can mend it now. The anchor again. Are you all right? The pain stopped. Don't tell me I'm gonna lose you. Whatever happens, I wouldn't trade the years we've had together for anything. I love you. This isn't over, but I love you too. Enjoy.
agents have found nothing. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. With the Inquisition officially disbanded, we have no army, no formal alliances. We have what we truly need. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solus knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths, and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will save our friend from himself, if we can.